Today on the Soap Thing Project, I am going to do a shave with day number eight of the 2023 Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Advent Calendar. Day number eight is this one right here. This is Rabbit Fighter from PAA, and we're going to talk about it coming up next. <laughs> So Rabbit Fighter is a clean vetiver scent. It is uh, sort of in the realm of a Tom Ford gray vetiver scent. It doesn't smell exactly like that. Uh, it's definitely a richer vetiver than, uh, than Tom Ford. For those of you who are wondering, well, what does vetiver smell like? Well, it depends. It ha it, it, it takes different forms uh, based on how it's executed. Uh, some takes on vetiver can smell pretty off-putting, but this one I would say is kind of a clean, woody, slightly grassy, uh, slightly green sort of scent. So, let's talk about it really quickly. This is the paperwork that comes with the shaving soap. It says, yet to be released, pending your feedback. I talked to Douglas and he says the reaction to this has been fairly weak. That's a damn shame because I really like this. I, when I first smelled it, I thought it was kind of boring for a PAA scent. I... But the more I smell it, the more I realize, you know, this is a pretty good vetiver scent. It really is. Scent profile, Haitian vetiver, cypress, patchouli, tonka bean, musk, and a kiss of ozone. It's a spicy, musky, metallic, camphorous, herbaceous, green and glittery, woody, earthy, and brash. Okay, dude. <laughs> uh, and it also says, you know, if I, it's, it's Douglas Smythe saying, if I could have a superpower or choose a superpower for myself, it would be the ability to smell the future. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, and it talks about, you know, Rabbit Fighter is the scent of pure science fiction, meaning if futuristic fantasy was a category of fragrance in the world of perfuming, this would be it. Okay. <laughs> kind of wigging out a little bit, as usual, but th that's that's the gist of it. So, uh, let me read this again. So I think this is obviously vetiver, vetiver and cypress heavy. Uh, it is slightly musky, it's a little spicy, and ozonic. Uh, that's what I would say. It's, it has a, it has an, almost an aromatic type uh, uh, facet to it as far as the fragrance. But first and foremost, I would say that this is a fresh, woody, uh, slightly musky sort of scent. And, you know, I, I will say that by PAA standards, it's not that interesting. But if you take it by itself, take it away from PAA, and what have you got? You've got a very good scent. So I think uh, if you sort of realign your expectations with this, it's, it's actually quite phenomenal. I'm not sure if uh, Douglas has had a history of doing vetiver, but he did a good job with this one. I'm shaving off uh, about 30 hours growth, a little under a day and a half. Scent strength uh, on the soap is about average. Three out of five on the sniffometer. And as you can imagine, I think this is uh, perfectly good stuff. Definitely worthy of a soap thing thumbs up, without a doubt. Um, there is a, an almost creepy irony to this because, uh, today was a really unfortunate day for my wife, Christina and I. So I, I was here in Turkey for 15 months, about six and a half years ago. Uh, and we had just gotten married like two months before I left, uh, two and a half months. And... 
right before I left, my wife decided that she needed to get a pet of some sort so that she wouldn't have to be in the house back in the States truly alone because uh, Insulik Air Base was and is dependent restricted. So you can't bring your family or your kids here when you get reassigned here. Uh, so she ended up getting a pet rabbit called Bandit from a friend from college. And he recently, uh, around Thanksgiving time, we found a, we took him to the vet and we found a, uh, a cancer-like growth uh, inside of his body. And we were basically told, you know, the equivalent of, it's basically the equivalent of late stage cancer. Like, we don't know how long he has, but it's probably not going to be very long. Uh, over Christmas, we thought he had stabilized because he was acting pretty normal. Well, th this video is going live sometime in February, but it's actually being recorded in early January, January 3rd, actually. Well, a couple days ago, uh, he had to be taken to the vet again because his breathing wasn't right. And we were basically told that he's nearing the end. And so he, he had to get put to sleep today. Today he was uh, put to sleep and he was eight and a half years old. Which rabbits, if you take care of them properly, will live almost as long as cats. The thing about it is, a lot of people don't take care of their rabbits properly. They leave them in cages, which is not what you're supposed to do. Uh, I'm going to finish up the neck here and do a little bit more on the neck. It needs it. Uh, rabbits can function a lot like cats. They can be litter box trained. Uh, and if you want them to have the healthiest lifestyle, they need to have kind of free roam of the house like a cat would. And there are ways to keep them from, you know, chewing on things and making a mess, but I think a lot of people who have rabbits as pets have no idea how wrong they're doing it. Uh, there, there's a right and a wrong way to raise those kind of pets. And you can get a lot of, a lot of years out of them if you do it right. But he, so some people are thinking, you know, it's just a rabbit, but he, uh, he has a certain symbolic significance because through the 15 months that I wasn't there in 2016 and 2017, and then I did six months in Spain a couple of years later, and then six months in Saudi Arabia a couple of years after that, he was always there when I couldn't be. So he has a, a symbolic significance that way. Plus, when we moved to uh, St. Louis near where Scott Air Force Base is, the base I was at before this, I... Uh, she decided she wanted to get more involved with rabbits, and St. Louis has a a animal shelter that's just for rabbits, and she ended up volunteering there quite a lot, and through that uh, made lifelong friends, and so this rabbit was responsible for a lot of positive changes in her life, and responsible for her forging a lot of relationships, and so... He was in my life a lot too. That's a long time to be in somebody's house. Uh, for me, it's it's a uh, it sucks whenever a pet dies. It tugs at your heartstrings, and it's really not pleasant. But for her, for my wife, she was completely destroyed. Uh, he got put to sleep about four hours ago, and for my wife, it was like losing a brother or sister. It was really bad. I thought about. Being, just being like, nah, I'm not going to do this right now. Because uh, this was on the schedule to be done today. Before it was completely certain this was going to happen. And I briefly thought about, maybe I should just wait. Like, I'm ahead of schedule anyway. Let's just wait and do this later. But I was just like, no. It uh, it needs to happen today. Because it it has a, a very coincidental 
significance. It This soap is going to have sentimental value. Somehow I doubt uh, that Douglas is going to release it. I wish he would. Uh, but it seems like the reaction to it was too weak for him to be convinced to put it out there, which is damn unfortunate because even outside of the extenuating circumstances, this is a very good scent, especially if you like woody scents or vetiver. Uh, this is a smooth really easy going take on vetiver it's it's great stuff so let's do the aftershave and the aftershave is extremely vetiver heavy uh it's a it's a bit less balanced than the soap but it still smells uh in my opinion phenomenal Okay, PAA's Rabbit Fighter. Definitely a thumbs up from uh, the soap thing. Hopefully we see this again in the future, but who knows. Okay, questions, comments, put them in the comments section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you. Shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching. Comments go down there, by the way. That's why I was doing that. Comments go in the comments section of the video, which is right down there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.